Hello everyone, this is Miss Math. In today's video, we will be going over the third grade math concept, place value. We will be talking about whole numbers, standard, expanded, and word form to help students prepare for the Texas Star Test in 2022. Remember third graders, you're braver than you believe and stronger than you seem and smarter than you think. To follow along with the problems, you can purchase the workbook. It will be a link in the description box so that you can grab yours today from our store. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you can get all of the updated math review videos. Let's get started. So in talking about place value, we will look at our place value blocks, also looking at the place value chart. So for our first example, we have 1,000, two hundreds, two tens, five ones. If you notice, we have one 1,000 block, two two hundreds block, two tens blocks, and five ones block. Let's look and see how that looks on the place value chart. For the thousands place, we have a one, in the hundreds place, we have a two. In the tens place, we have a two. And in the ones place, we have a five. Let's see what this looks like in standard form. And when we say standard form, it means basically how it is wrote. The number is wrote in just plain numbers. So in our example for the standard form, we have 1,200. 25. And if you notice, they're color coded just so that you can follow along to remember where, where that place value is. Now let's look at it in expanded form. And this is one version of expanded form. There are actually two different versions of an expanded form. For this one, we have 1000 plus 200 plus 20 plus so for the standard form 1225 this is one way we can write it in expanded form let's look and see the second way we can write it another way we can write it is by multiplying each of the place values so for 1000 we have 1 times 1000 plus 2 times 100 plus two times 10 plus five times one. And that again equals to 1,225. Now let's look at the number in word form. And in word form is just what it says, writing the words for the numbers. So we have 1,225. Let's look at a word problem and we're gonna go over it one more time in example to make sure we really got what it looks like to put a number in a place value chart with the place value blocks in standard form, expanded form, and also word form. In our example, we see it says the record-breaking Oreo is 6,000 495 times bigger than the normal Oreo cookie. Wow. It was baked in Manama, Bahrain, and it is officially the world's largest cream filled biscuit. So we are looking at our number 6,495. We see for our place value blocks, we have six 1,000 blocks, 400 blocks, nine tens and five ones. And we've also wrote it in where we have the six thousands, four hundreds, nine tens, and again, five ones. Now let's look and see what it looks like on our place value chart. On our place value chart, we see we have a six in the thousands place, a four in the hundreds place, a nine in the tens place, 
and a five in the ones place. Next, let's look at it in standard form. And like we said before, in standard form means it's just wrote just as a number. Now let's look at expanded form. We have both ways we can write it in expanded form. We have 6,000 plus 400 plus 90 plus five. Or we can write it in expanded form as six times 1,000, four times 100, nine times 10, plus five times one. What's up next? You guessed it in word form. We have 6,495. Let's look at one more example. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, Miss Betty Webster from Hawaii holds the record for the largest collection of sunglasses. She has 1,506 pairs of sunglasses and counting. That is a lot of sunglasses. So in looking at our number, which we know is in the standard form, look at our, let's look at our place value blocks. We have one, thousand block, five hundreds blocks. Do we have a tens block? No, we do not because we do, we have a zero in our tens place and we have six ones. Now let's look at it in our place value chart. We have one in the thousands place, five in the hundreds place, a zero in the tens place, and six in the ones place. Now we have all of our forms all together. Let's take a look at it now. For standard form, we know we've always already been writing our number in standard form. So let's look at expanded form. And again, there are two ways that we can write it. We have 1000 plus 500 plus zero because remember we do not have we a number in the tens place what we do it's zero but no value plus six or we can write one times one thousand plus five times one thousand plus zero times ten plus six times one in word form it is one thousand five hundred six and that is our review for place value. Now let's dive into our first problem in our workbook. The expanded notation of a number is shown. Nine times 10,000 plus four times 100 plus one times 10. What is the standard form of this number? Is it A, 9,410, B, 94,010, C, 90,401, or D, 90,410. The first question that we need to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? That is the first question we need to discover in order for us to answer the question correctly. We are looking for the standard form of this number. And what is the number written in? Yes, expanded notation. It's nine times 10,000 plus four times 100 plus one times 10. Our next question is finding out what information we can use to answer the question. Well, in order to answer the question, the information we need is the expanded notation information and also putting it in the other version of the expanded form in order for us to solve this problem. So we have nine times 10,000. We know that's equal to 90,000. Four times 100 is equal to 400. 
and one times 10 is equal to 10. This is the information that can help us find our answer. Next, we need to discover how we can solve this problem. Well, that's pretty easy peasy. All we need to do is add all of our numbers together. We have 90,000 plus 400 plus 10. And when we add those numbers together, our answer is 90,410. Now that we've solved our problem, the next thing we need to do is look at our answer choices to discover which is the correct answer. Can you guess which answer is answer choice is correct? If you answered D, you are absolutely right. The expanded notation nine times 10,000 plus four times 100 plus one times 10 is equal to 90,410. And that is it for our review. Starting January, 2022, we will begin our third grade online math review boot camps for the Texas Star Test. This is Miss Math and I'll talk to you later, sugar.